Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent sensory consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I've got a very fast, well actually it's not gonna be fast, it's gonna be a long video probably. It arrived fast is what I'm trying to say. It's a very large haul from the warehouse sale most recently and mine shipped like within a day of placing the order. Um, I think mine must have been one of the first to ship. I must have got lucky, I don't know what happened there. But both of my warehouse sale orders arrived yesterday. Didn't have time to film it yesterday, but I am hopping in today. I just opened the box right now and we will kind of go through what I ordered. I did get quite a few things. The warehouse sale overall for me, I thought the prices weren't as discounted as I would have liked to have seen, but the stuff in there was pretty good. There were some retired bars, you could get individual bars, there were some bar bundles, there were warmers, all kinds of good stuff. So I was happy with the contents of the warehouse sale. Um, none of my customers orders have shipped just yet but they will be coming, I'm sure, so hold tight on those. Um, as for Sensi News, it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, the Haunted Mansion collection is in, so I'm really excited to see a fall collection now. So we're having the Haunted Mansion, War Haunted Mansion Warmer and the Three Thumbs Up Sensi Bar. That one is, I think, like pumpkin, ginger, and spices. To my nose, Three Thumbs Up is kind of like a spiced bread scent. It's like a French bread like not a sweet bread, but like a savory bread with like some not spicy spices, just like some aromatic spices. I really like that one. I will be stocking up on that one. I'm glad it has come back. So that is available now. Um, the first thing I got, and this is the, the thing I went back in for, I didn't originally order this one in my original warehouse order sale, um, in my original warehouse sale order, but I did go back for it. This, I believe, is coming back this holiday season. Don't hold me to that, I'm not 100% sure, but I did see this in the Region 3 SFR pictures, and that is the um, Dis Christmas with Disney warmer. This was there in the expo as coming back this season along with the bar. So I think we'll see this back, probably at full price, um, but I was very happy to get it at a very deep discount in the sale. So I'm gonna give this a quick open up and see what it looks like. I think, I mean, I think I know what it looks like, but let's just take, oh, this is cute. The box has like the Disney flaps. It has a nice sized dish that says mini on the label. So it's like a little gift tag to mini. So that's cute. So here it is unlit. And this one is an element warmer. Despite the fact that it does light up, it is an element warmer and you just sit the dish here like this. And it's got all the characters. And then we have gifts here for Donald and Mickey as well. So super cute. And I will just go ahead and plug this in because I do have an outlet behind me here. So here we are, it's lit up. It's not gonna be very bright because of the uh, bright room I'm in, but the star does light up, if you can see that. And it kind of goes through like a series of colors in like an LED light form. So it's an LED light in there, I'm quite sure. And then yeah, the element is what actually warms your wax up. So that's super cute. The intention for this is for it to go in my daughter's room through the holiday season. So I think she's gonna enjoy that and be pleased with it. It shouldn't be too, too bright in her room. She doesn't like anything too bright while she sleeps. I think this should do just nicely. So that I'm pretty happy with. I've been eyeing up this warmer for a long time. The thing with the Disney warmers is you can't use host rewards on them. Because they're a licensed item, you can't get them with your half offs or your party credits. So it's always difficult to get them at a, at a good price. So the only way to really do that is through clearance sales or warehouse sales. So I was glad to take advantage of that. So that is the warmer I got. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to tuck that away until the holidays, which are, will be here before we know it, I'm sure. Um, so there's that. I also grabbed three pod packs in the clearance sale. Now these ones weren't awesome priced. I think they were like $9 compared to the normal $13 price, but they're scents that I really like that you can't normally get in pod form. So I got one in pink haze. And this one is kind of like a candy sweet scent. And yes, this one is good in pods too. Really like that one. It does discolor quite yellow, but it doesn't really matter in pod form. So there's that one. And then another one of my favorite scents that is very light in wax. I got Honeymoon Hideaway in pods. And they're pretty light in pods too, but this is such a beautiful scent. It is like floral, botanical, spa, vacation so nice i love this one i'll probably put this in the uh, bedroom air purifier while i'm on holidays here coming up so i'm gonna enjoy those too then i went in and also grabbed a second harvest bundle so i got two of this bundle um the reason i got this bundle is because i like nearly all of the bars in it and there's a couple in here that i haven't actually tried so the first one in the harvest bundle was i think it was, i can't remember what the bundle was called it was like fall harvest i'm not sure 
but sweet cream spice. I know I like this one. This is a very pretty kind of soft creamy scent. Kind of along the lines of cinnamon buttercream, but less spicy even than cinnamon buttercream. It's almost got more of a caramelly tone to it. It's really, really pretty. I love that one. Next we have coconut pumpkin pie. This was a bring back my bar a round or two ago. This one on cold is kind of odd, but on warm, this one just blooms and it's really, really good. It's a great performer. And yeah, you get coconut, you get pumpkin pie. It's just kind of a, an odd one, but really, really good. Um, a nice pumpkin spice bar with just a tiny hint of coconut. So happy to have another bar of that. I do have one more bar in my stash of this, but I'm glad to have another. Um, one thing I will note is none of this came with ice packs. Um, it is the middle of July. Granted, I do live in Northern Canada, so it's not as hot, but it's hot. It's like 30 degrees in the daytime. And well, I guess it's like 90-ish in the US, I'm not sure, 85, 90, but I'm not getting ice packs. So unless someone's home to bring the box in, it's gonna melt. So if you are having issues, I think most people are probably getting ice packs. If you're not getting ice packs and your wax is damaged or any of your items are damaged, contact your consultant. They can put a ticket in on support. Support's been really good about dealing with that stuff. So they will resend the products. But if you have any wax damage issues because of the weird ice pack situation this summer, definitely reach out to your consultant and they will get that addressed for you. So yeah, coconut pumpkin pie. That's a good one. I like that one. Perfect pumpkin pear. Not to be confused with very peri pumpkin. Perfect pumpkin pear is one I actually quite like. Very Perry Pumpkin is like the worst bar for me of all time, but Perfect Pumpkin Pear I enjoy. This one is, yeah, it's kind of like a fresh, almost citrusy toned pumpkin. I like it. It's I can see how people don't. A lot of people don't care for this one. It does have kind of a astringentness from the pear, but I really like that. If you're tired of all the like spice and pumpkins and you want something kind of fresh and bright, this is a good choice. Nice sunny blue sky fall day scent. Then we have Porch Pumpkin. I love this one. If I could have bought this in singles, I would have bought like 15 of them. This is a top-notch one. Oh, it's just such a good all-purpose pumpkin scent. Is it like super unique? No, but it's like the best, like most balanced pumpkin. It's just a teeny, tiny, tiny hint of spice. I really like this. If you hear crying in the background, that is my dog, Ben. He is in jail because he was going around causing all kinds of havoc. So. I put him in his crate for the time being, but he will be released here shortly. He, he is fine. <laughs> but yeah, Porch Pumpkin is a favorite. Harvest Blessings, this is a really good bar and one that was in the fall winter catalog for the last couple seasons. I don't think we're gonna see this back. This was in a couple different warehouse sale bundles, which leads me to believe that the prognosis for this one is not great. Um, this is a great bar though. Yeah, this is nice. It's a nice classic pumpkin spice scent. Um, it's got a nice bit of spice to it. It's got pumpkin. It's got oak and it's a really pretty rich smooth oak. It almost smells a little bit licorice -y to my nose. I really like this. Like if you told me there's black licorice in here, I'd believe you. This is a nice all-purpose warm fall bar. Like classic, classic fall. Very traditional. I could see somewhere like Yankee Candle having this scent. This is really, really nice. So love Harvest Blessings. Glad to have another one in my stockpile. Autumn Stroll was a recent enough bring back my bar. This one is kind of a cologne scent, a bit cologne, a little bit like tea and soap, like a lavender soap with like some black tea and like cologne is what I get here. It's really nice. I would say maybe bergamot might be in the notes. I'm not really sure, but it's a nice one. Good performer, um, a little bit masculine, but not super cologne masculine, more like just clean gentleman masculine. So there is that one. Then we have Pumpkin Marshmallow. This is one that I have never smelled before and I hear such mixed reviews of it. Some people love this, but many people absolutely hate this scent and compare it to Very Peri Pumpkin, which is a nemesis of mine, do not like. So let's try Pumpkin Marshmallow and get a first sniff here. This is, I will say, old packaging. So I'm curious how old this bar is, but we'll, we'll give it a sniff. I mean, I don't... Well, I, I, yeah, I get it. Um, top's fine. Top is just kind of waxy, maybe a little bit like, it just smells waxy on the top. The bottom, I get caramel, but also something that kind of like triggers my gag reflex almost. I'm not sure what that is. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't hate it, but there's something in here that kind of, it makes your stomach lurch a little bit. And I'm not sure what that is. Like I said, I don't dislike the scent. It's kind of a sweet, caramely type of scent. Kind of smells along the lines of like a less good gimme candy. Gimme candy is like a thousand times better. But it kind of reminds me of that same family. Um, I don't know. It's okay. I think I'd probably mix this with gimme candy and be quite happy with it. Um, but yeah, I can see how this one isn't for everyone for sure. Um, it does have something that just kind of hits you in the back of the throat and kind of like, ugh. So I'm not sure about that one. We'll see. Next we have Vanilla Cinnamon Maple. This is one that I really like. This was a holiday brick a couple years ago. It did make it to the fall winter catalog last fall. I kind of don't know that it's going to come back this fall, especially now that it's in the clearance bundle. Sometimes they will do that with the brick scents. They'll make it into a catalog bar for like a season or so and then maybe not bring it back. So I do suspect because a lot of people had bricks left over from this, myself included, maybe we didn't purchase enough of it last fall to keep it around this fall. Um, could be the case, but this is a really good scent. This smells like a fresh pour. This is not very strong yet, but the scent itself is quite strong normally. This is a gooey caramel creamy scent with just like the teeniest, tiniest like edge of cinnamon at the outside, hardly any. If you're afraid of spice, this will be fine for you. As long as you're a bakery lover, you're going to be a winner with this one. This is good. I love this one. It is great for all year round, in my opinion. I really enjoy that one. That is vanilla cinnamon maple. <clears throat> Next, we have another one I really enjoyed. This was a scent of the month. I want to say last August or so, something along that line. This is warm pumpkin drizzle. This one's really nice. This one is like pineapple upside down cake to my nose. I smell pineapple. I don't get a lot of pumpkin here. I get pineapple, brown sugar, glaze, bakery. To my nose, this is pineapple upside down cake. I love this. This is a nice summer bar, nice bakery scent for all year round. It's just a nice rainy day scent. I really like it. Good performer. Not the longest lasting in the world, but it does a nice throw while you are while you have it going. I love warm pumpkin drizzle. I have a couple bars in my stash from the um, consultant kit last year, but I am getting low, so I was glad to get another one. And then finally in that bundle, we have Honey Pear Cider. And this, I don't remember when this was like in catalog or anything, but I love this scent. It's been around a couple times since I've been a consultant. This is really pretty. This is like the most gentle, soft, like poached pear. Oh, it's lovely. It's just like, it's like poached pear baked with like, just like a teeny hint of baking cinnamon, hardly any, and like just sweetness. Not brown sugar, not really caramely, just that like fruit baked or poached scent. It's beautiful. Performance on this for me has been hit or miss. The first few bars I had were very light. The longer I let this sit, the better it seems to do. So I'll probably let this one sit for a year or two and then warm it, but I love this scent so much. It is perfect again when you're tired of the spice, when you want something a bit lighter and brighter. This is gorgeous and so comforting and cozy. Love that one. So overall that bundle was pretty good. Um, out of those scents, there's only maybe one that I'm questionable on, that's Pumpkin Marshmallow, but I was excited to try it anyway, so win. Um, yeah, so overall that bundle was a good option. I did say to myself in January for the new year, my resolution was to not buy any bundles that I wouldn't use all of the bars from. And this is a bundle that had a few bars that I really wanted more of, and I would happily use all of the bars in there. So was really glad to get my hands on that bundle. Now we have my first box, my first original order from the warehouse sale. This is a much larger order. Um, there's a lot of bars here. First thing I got here is Winterberry Apple Tea Bath Soak. Um, this is one of my favorite all-time Scentsy Soaks ever. Like I love the Winterberry Apple Tea in the Bath Soak. It is amazing. So I was very happy to get another bag of it, especially on clearance. I also grabbed a Scent Soft in Fiji Flower. This is in the new packaging too, so I'm not sure what happened there because they didn't make scent soft this season yet they have fiji flower in the new packaging and scent soft i don't i don't know what happened there but i'm glad they have it because i am using fiji flower right now in my laundry and i don't have scent soft in that scent so i've been mixing it with pink cotton but i'm very glad to have fiji flower in scent soft that's very very exciting next year i have the box of wax and again it came packaged no ice pack in this one either um so that's a little frustrating but what can you do so again we have the a few here from the um, Harvest Bundle. So Honey Pear Cider, another one. Love that. Another Autumn Stroll. And again, I've just been through these, so I won't go through them again. Uh, lemon Coconut Chiffon. How did that get in there? 
Must have been in one of the bundles I got. Hmm. I do love lemon coconut chiffon, but I don't remember ordering any. This is actually in my club, so there's another one of those. Watermelon mint. Yes, there was a summer... Was it the farmer's market bundle or like a fruity bundle? I think it might have been a fruity bundle. Um, had a bunch of bars that I like. So I know I like lemon coconut chiffon, so that's a good one. That one is like a lovely bakery coconut lemon cake. Um, watermelon mint was a bring back my bar, I think last summer or the summer before. This one is so lovely. It's mostly watermelon. I don't really get a lot of mint in this one or any mint at all. There's nothing cooling here. This has a little bit of a green freshness to it, more like the watermelon rind than mint to my nose. But I love this. I want to mix this with mint fields from the Epcot collection and see if I can get like a watermelon mojito going. That sounds excellent. So love that I have another watermelon mint. Huckleberry wreath. This must be from one of the holiday bundles. I did get the Christmas bundle as well. Christmas in July, I think it was called. Huckleberry wreath is a great bar. This one is like huckleberry and it's a very tart. It's kind of similar to Scentsy's blackberry note. It is tart. I think there might be juniper in here as well. Yeah, this is really nice. This is like not pine, but like juniper. It's got that kind of tart miss that juniper has too, along with that huckleberry. I really like huckleberry wreath. My husband, if I remember right, does not like this one. So I just warm it when he's out of town and enjoy that. Accidentally in love. This was a single bar, I believe. I think this was just like a solo bar. And I haven't tried it before, but I've heard good things. So I wanted to give it a try. Oh, it's on the strong side. I would say it's fruity. Kind of reminds me of something Lush has. What is that? Kind of reminds me of some of like the citrusy Lush stuff. Um, hmm. Something limey maybe. Maybe like Lush lime. Um, but I definitely get like citrus, specifically lime in here. I'm not sure what else. Maybe cherry. Um, it's a good one. Very fruity. Kind of reminds me a little bit of cherry limeade. Um, if you're familiar with that bar. That one is stronger than Accidentally in Love, but this is quite strong as well. So that's a great one. Nice. Not what I expected, but I really like it. I've um, got another Accidentally in Love, so I got two of those. <clears throat> Wassail Wonderland. This is one I really enjoy. This was in my club for a time. I think I took it out because I get, got a bit of a stockpile of it. It's like a orange, like, spice cider. With like a little bit of like pine tree in the background. Now this one can be a little bit off-putting on cold for some people. It's a bit sharp, but when you warm this, it just kind of melts together in the warmers and it just gets beautiful. It's like orange and pine tree and like cidery goodness. It's it's lovely. So that is Wassail Wonderland. Cranberry Garland. I think this is a new scent to me. I don't believe I've smelled Cranberry Garland before and I don't know anything about when this bar was available. Um, oh, it's nice. That is a very classic homey cranberry scent. It's a bit richer than like Very Merry Cranberry, which is just single note cranberry. This has like almost some woodsiness to it. Kind of reminds me of like the cranberry version of like jeweled pomegranate. To my nose, jeweled pomegranate has like a tiny bit of tree branch to it or like pine bough or something to it. This is like that, but with cranberry instead of pomegranate. This is very pretty. I really like that. So woodsy cranberry, really like that. Not as woodsy to my nose as like cranberry and tinsel. Um, I think I prefer cranberry garland on cold. So that's lovely. Glad to try that. Hollyberry cinnamon. Love this bar. This was in clearance for a time. This one got a wee bit juicy. This one has almost like a roasted pine cone note to it that I love. This one is spicy. It is cinnamon. Um, it does have a bit of like holiday greenness to it. Like maybe, I don't know if it's pine branches or if it's holly or what, but I distinctly get something either like something toasty is here. I don't know if it's like toasty nuts or if it's toasty pine cones, but to my nose, it smells kind of like toasty pine cones and then nice like dry cinnamon. Wow. <laughs> I love this one though. This one's beautiful. I would love to see this back at some point. I don't know how or when or where, but I love Hollyberry Cinnamon. Performance, if I remember right, was not awesome on this one. It was kind of a smaller space bar. I did it in my open layout. It got to be maybe a medium at peak and didn't last super long, but I love the scent and I'll probably try it in a smaller space this time. 
aloe vera and ivy. This was again a solo bar that was available. I think I got a couple of these. This one's beautiful. Of all the summer green scent scents he does, aloe vera and ivy is my favorite. It's kind of along the lines of watermelon mint, a bit less sweet than that. More like just watermelon rind. Like the white and the green part of the watermelon is what aloe vera and ivy smells like to me. Not the pink sweet part, but just that rind, which is still a bit sweet and watery. I really like this one. That is a winner in my book. Another pumpkin marshmallow. And interestingly, this one has updated packaging, whereas the other one in my other bundle had the like old school stripe bring back my bar packaging. Oh. Hmm. Weird. This one smells way different than the other one I had. The other one I had just smelled like wax on the top, and then it had the kind of like sweet caramely odd note on the back. This one has like the pumpkin gut smell on the top, which their one didn't have at all. Oh, it's worse on the back. Oh yeah, no. Okay, so I'm gonna say age does this one well. I'll warm the old one first, um, because it smells better to my nose than this one. I can I can see why this one was not popular <laughs> with many people. Um, yeah, I don't care for this bar. It's so weird how like age will do that. Age will make or break a bar sometimes. This one seems to improve with age to my nose. So that's good to know. Graduation. I can't remember if this was part of a bundle or if it was solo, but I love graduation. This is like our first day of school bar every year. This one was like, I think suede, apples, and I can't remember what else. Maybe bergamot. This is like, sweet leather cozy apples it's really pretty it's really unique um definitely has like a leathery suede note to it but it's really tempered by the apples and the other notes in there it's gorgeous smells very fallish very cool weather very studious it's kind of like a library scent without being dusty in any way it's just kind of bright and it's it's lovely love this one for back to school or september Next we have Snow Kissed Cranberry. This one is gorgeous. I got this in another bar bundle at one point, so this is like my second bar of it. And I really, really liked it. Yes, it is like a very sweet cranberry. There is less woodsiness to this one than any other cranberry scent, except for maybe Very Merry Cranberry. This is pretty. This is sweeter than Very Merry Cranberry to my nose. This one is not as tart as many of the other cranberry scents that we get. It also doesn't have any of the woodsy or pine notes to it. So if you don't like pine, Snow Kissed Cranberry, I think is a good one. There may be pine in the notes on this, but I don't smell it. No, this is a very sweet cranberry. It's really, really pretty. Um, yeah, I also scored a brick of this on the Scentsy Black Market. So I've got a whole brick all to myself as well. I'm very, very excited about that, that, that find. So happy to have another bar too. Next we have Sweet Plum Pastry. I have one bar of this in my stash. I've never warmed it. I've had it for quite a while. I can't bring myself to warm it because it smells so good and I didn't think I could get any more. So now I can warm my old bar because I have a new bar to replace it. This is beautiful. It smells even better new. Oh, this one's nice. It is sweet, it is cozy. I think all year round appropriate. This is like sugared plum with maybe a little bit of brown sugar or something a bit baked as well. This is gorgeous. I would say heavily sugared, sugared plum and like baked, maybe a little bit of brown sugar or some kind of sugar crust or something like that there. But this is gorgeous. We will probably see this back eventually and bring back my bar. It seems to be a very popular scent. I'm sure it'll come back at some point, but until it does, I'm happy to have a little bit more. Love that one. Uh, another watermelon mint, happy to have that. This one might've been a solo one. That might be why I have two, because I don't think I got two of the bundles, this one. Yeah, this one's great. Love watermelon mint. Another sweet cream spice from my harvest bundle. This one is quiet clementine. I can't remember, this might've been a solo bar as well. Interesting. Not sure I love that. That kind of smells like bug spray to me. <laughs> it smells like off deep woods. Yeah, I don't, I don't mm, no, not a fan. Um, this is quite clementine. So I, I don't know the notes. I'm assuming clementine is in here along with some herbal notes, I think it was. Um, to my nose, this is very much straight up like off bug spray. Yeah, no. It smells like camping and not in the way you want. So there's that one, not a fan. 
Another watermelon mint. Grabbed three of those apparently. That's a good one. All you need is love. This is one that I've never smelled. Don't remember anything about the description on this one. It leads me to believe it's a bakery bar because of the color, but let's see. It's very light. It does smell bakery though. I would say cream. It's sweet and creamy. Kind of again reminds me a little bit of cinnamon buttercream in a way. It's pretty. Um, maybe gently, gently spiced. Sweet and creamy. Kind of smells like coffee creamer to my nose. So there's that one. Really pretty. Probably a good mixer is what I'll use that one for. And I suspect it'll get stronger with time too. Coconut pumpkin pie again. That's a good one. Warm pumpkin drizzle. Again, really happy to have another of those. Peppermint Dreams. Love this one. Was so glad to see this in the Christmas in July bundle. It is like the best like, saturated mint with like a hint of chocolate. Like a hint. Like a peppermint patty where it's like 95% peppermint filling and just a teeny bit of dark chocolate around the edge. Mm. This is what that smells like. This is amazing. I think the notes are like chocolate cupcake and mint. To my nose, this is more like a York peppermint patty. I love this one. That one is a winner. Perfect for the bedroom any time of year. Um, spiced pear. This I had gotten, I think two bars in a flash sale last summer, or mm, I don't know when, in the spring or in the winter, I can't remember when, a while back. Um, I loved it, wished I'd gotten more, so I did get some more. This one's gorgeous. It is again very light, but it's a, I love pear scents in general. This is a light kind of like, it's a nice mix between fresh and, and baked. Like it's like a halfway baked, halfway fresh. Cause it does still have some juicy tartness to it, but it also has the mellowness of like a poached or a baked pear. I really love spiced pear. Not a whole lot of spice going on in here. It's just very gentle and soft and pretty. Love that one can't speak to performance on that one yet. <clears throat> Icicles and Evergreen. This is one where I kind of ended up breaking my rule of no bundles if I don't like some of the bars. There's this one. Icicles and Evergreen. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't like love it all that much. And I have so much of this scent. I have like an, almost an entire brick from last season and I have a couple of other bars of this as well. And it's not a scent I particularly enjoy. So yeah, it's fine. It's a very perfumey, high-pitched kind of pine tree note. A lot of people absolutely adore this scent. If I had to guess, this is not coming back to the catalog this year, again, for the same reason. They'll give us a brick, they'll put it in the catalog for a season, and then because everyone still has brick left over, nobody buys it, and then they take it out the next season. I think this is going to fall victim to that as well, just like vanilla cinnamon maple. So yeah, there's this one. It's kind of a soapy, pine tree, perfumey scent. Pretty in bathrooms, pretty in bedrooms. A lot of people absolutely adore this scent. It's just not my particular favorite, but it has many, many diehard lovers. So Icicles and Evergreen, there's that one. Black Forest Pine. This is one I don't know if I've ever melted. I think I had like one bar of it when it first came out. I'm not a big pine tree scent person. Generally, especially since these pine tree scents are kind of iffy for me. Um, so I had a bar of this, but I gifted it to a friend who loved it. She loves pine tree scents. So I'm happy to have another bar just to try. Because I feel like sometimes your scent preferences change and they adapt over time. And there were a couple pine tree scents last year that I do really like. Um, oh, what was it? Evergreen and orange or sweet orange evergreen, spiced orange evergreen, something like that was good. And then fallen into mm, wild about fall. Was that it? Wild for fall. Wild for Fall was a good pine tree scent with some citrus to it. So Black Forest Pine, if I believe, was just like a Black Forest Pine scent. It is kind of an earthy one. It's got like some pine cone maybe to it. This one is a deep earthy dark pine. I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it now. Not love, but I'll be happy to have a bar. And I could see myself mixing some kind of cranberry scent with this and making a really nice blend. So happy to try Black Forest Pine. And then custard apple. <clears throat> this is one I have a scent, I have a bar of from my friend Sara in New Zealand. This is a beautiful scent. This is a sweet, mellow apple. This is quite light. It's not sweet and custardy. It is still got tartness of like green apple. 
but it's like a mellow green apple. It's really pretty, very nice, very mellow. And Ben has parked in the cat bed. I gave him a chewy thing to keep him busy while I film here. Then we have cinna vanilla cinnamon maple again. That's a good one. This one I think was a solo bar. This is Showered in Flowers from the Find Your Happy collection. This is a beautiful floral. Again, I'm not a huge floral person. I like a few florals, but I'm pretty picky on florals. This is one of my absolute favorite florals that Scentsy does. This is beautiful. This is sweet and fresh and not cloying, not headache inducing. It is just beautiful and it just hits the mark perfectly. Like if I could design a perfect floral scent for myself, this would be it. There's nothing powdery here. There's nothing perfumey here. It is sweet and fresh, but still floral and feminine. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I do have a few bars of this in my stash. I was happy to get another one. Perfect pumpkin pear again. Huckleberry apple pie. This is a new one for me. I've never smelled this. I know nothing about the bar. So huckleberry apple pie sounds great. I love bakery scents. This should be good. This is so good. Oh my. Why did they? I need to look up this bar and see when this was available and like why they got rid of it. Cause this is a good one. I'm trying to get it out of the package. It's like really, really in there. Never had it do that before. Okay. I broke the bar trying to get it out. Um, but oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. What? That is so good. That is like insane. This is like if you took St. Nickerdoodle, maybe baked apple pie, but probably St. Nickerdoodle because it's got a lot of sweetness to it. St. Nickerdoodle mixed with some like really juicy, nice authentic berry. That is whole good. So good. A little bit of spice, like a little tiny bit of like cinnamon sugar. It's got the berries, it's got the apple. I smell bakeriness to it. This hits all the marks. I wish we would have gotten this into like our catalog for the fall. This is not in the fall catalog, but beautiful. And when I say not in the fall catalog, I haven't seen the fall catalog yet, but it's not in the 10 new releases. That's for sure. That is all I know. <clears throat> Another spiced pear, good one third spice pear. I told you I like that one. Red berry and spruce. This is one of the scents that when I did my first winter with, as a Scentsy consultant, I really liked this one. As far as pine tree scents go, this one is tolerable to me and I quite like it. This is beautiful. It's like the nicest balance of like pine tree or pine or balsam or whatever, whatever tree of your choice you want to say with like berries and a little bit of something extra too. Like I almost get like pine cone here even again. Like I love pine cone notes, but I don't like pine tree notes. This has like the most pretty balance and it's just gorgeous. I think I had one lonely bar in my stash left. So I'm very glad to have another. Love red berry and spruce. Tinselberry. This is in my club, but it was in the Christmas and July bundle and I'm happy to have another. I love tinselberry. This one is like cinnamon, strawberries, and I think is there cherry or raspberry in there too? I can't remember. But it's like strawberry and cinnamon. It's gorgeous. It's festive and fun and unexpected. I really like this one. I don't think we're gonna see this back this season. So glad to have another one. Harvest Blessings again, that's a good one. Brownie batter. This is from the bakery bundle. Yes, this one is a very like standard chocolate scent. It's a dark chocolate. It kind of leans chalky to my nose. Um, chocolate scents are really hard to do. Hug in a Mug is a fantastic one. It is creamy. It's perfect. I love Hug in a Mug. This one is kind of like your standard chocolate scent. It kind of reminds me of like Yankee Candles chocolate cake scent, chocolate layer cake. Um, it reminds me of a lot of chocolate candle or wax scents that I've smelled before. Um, not my favorite. I think it would mix really well in like mixes or if you wanted to do like a Neapolitan ice cream with it with some strawberry and vanilla and this, that would be amazing. Um, but not my favorite on its own. Really good bar though. <clears throat> another Hollyberry Cinnamon, love that one. And a, another Aloe Vera and Ivy, love that one. Porch Pumpkin, thank goodness, love that one. 
And then finally, Dancing Sugar Plums, which is typically in our fall winter catalog. This kind of makes me think it's not gonna be back. I did throw this in my club, kind of just having a hunch that it might not be back. And then I further thought we weren't gonna get this one back in the fall catalog when I saw the spoilers for the holiday scents from SFR. There is a scent that sounds to be sugar plum based in the Christmas collection. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, I won't tell you anything else about it. But when I saw that, I was like, okay, Dancing Sugar Plums is most likely on the chopping block. And then this came into the flash sale and I was like, or the clearance sale and I was like, okay, yeah, I think they've, they've probably done away with Dancing Sugar Plums. We don't know that for sure. We have not seen the catalog yet. We won't until next week. Um, but that is my, my suspicion. So, that is my haul. I got a lot of stuff there. That was a ton of wax. I have to find a home for all that wax now in my in my wax room. Um, and yeah, so just the one warmer, a scent soft, a bath soak, a few pods, and then a whole ton of wax. So that is what I got. I would love to hear if you shopped the warehouse sale. If you did, what did you get? I would love to know. And if you didn't, what are you hoping to see in the next warehouse sale? Because we seem to be getting these every month or two months somewhere in there right now. I would love to know what you're hoping to see in the future ones. Other than that, I have a whole bunch of videos coming up in the next little while. Um, I'm going on holidays here soon from work, so I'll have a little bit more time. Um, you're gonna be seeing a whole bunch of SFR stuff coming up. SFR starts, I believe, Wednesday or Thursday next week. So we should have a good idea of what the fall catalog will look like by Thursday of next week. I do plan to upload, as soon as I have that information, I will be making a video on it and letting you know what's coming back, what isn't, what to stock up on, what you're good for, and all of that stuff. So looking forward to that. This is like my favorite time of the year in Scentsyland. When we're kind of gearing up for fall, this is like my absolute favorite time of the year in Scentsyland. So excited to get some content out for you guys and let you know what's coming back, what isn't, what will be coming that's new. Very exciting stuff. So that is what I've got. As far as SFR goes, I am not going. SFR is Scentsy Family Reunion. I did earn the incentive trip for SFR. Um, it, you earn your registration for that. So I booked it and then I was like, okay, I'm looking at flights and stuff. And I'm like, okay, this is gonna cost me an absolute fortune. I'm not gonna go. Um, so I did get my like spirit box and all that. It was super fun. Um, they do offer an online registration. I couldn't do it because I work full time and I'm, there's no like playback capability. You can't like watch recordings later. You have to watch it live. And I, I can't because I work. So I just, yeah, I'm not gonna be going and I'm not doing the online either, but I did get my spirit kit and I was pretty excited about it. So there is that. There will be all kinds of people at SFR though, my director included who will be there and feeding us pictures of the catalog and scent lists and all kinds of good stuff. So we'll know very, very well what is and isn't coming back. So that is something to look forward to in the next week. I know I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys are too. Other than that, I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hope your summer is going well. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.